Hey guys, so I got a bit of an interesting project today. I'm going to be doing a collaboration blade with Frank Sastro. I reached out to him uh, a couple weeks ago and we decided that we're going to do a collaboration together. So I'm going to be doing the blade part and then he's going to be finishing up with the handle. And the design we uh, finalized on is something like this. So it's a bit of a uh, kind of a fighter buoy style, the deep with a recurve and a very long wet point. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be using 1084 high carbon steel. I have some here from Alpha Knife Supply. And I'm just going to be forging it out. I'm going to forge it down to shape. It's going to be, I'm hoping to get around a 10, 10 to 12 inch blade. That's my plan. And then I'll be grinding it and uh, polishing it up. I'll polish it up to 600 good before sending it off to Frank. And I'm not sure exactly what he's doing for handle. So uh, we'll see, it'll be good. And once this knife is completely done, then it'll be up for auction. So make sure you follow me and Frank on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description so you can follow them so you can stay tuned for those details of when uh, the knife is going up for auction because uh, you can buy it if you want. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get started. I'll fire up the forge and start forging this down. Already got the forge fired up. It's gonna take a little while to warm up. But I'm just gonna stick the steel in there already to let it start to get the temperature there. So I got the 10D4, I'm going to start breaking it down into a uh, break down the point, breaking down this part, because I want it to be a lot thinner than this 2 inch wide ratio. Now I'm going to forge out the tang of the blade on this end, and then I'll return back to the blade. Okay, so I've got it flipped around, and I'm going to start drawing down the tang. So I'm going to bring it down about here.
drag that down, thinning it out. Once I get that done, I just have the rest of this part to work on.
Okay, so I've got the blade nice and straight now, and I'm just going to do a few minutes more tweaks, and I'm going to uh, uh, sorry, anneal it. And annealing it is where I'm just going to heat it up slowly, and I'm going to move that really slowly into my forge overnight. It's going to let the, the grain size um, uh, get smaller, so the steel grains, which allows it to get a sharper edge, and it's going to be a lot tougher after that. So that's what I'm going to do. It's annealed and uh, it's ready for grinding. So uh, right now the length is blade length is nine inches at the ricasso. Ricasso is an inch right now. I'm going to bring it down to about half an inch there. So the ricasso is this little part here. I'm going to bring it down to about half an inch. And the overall length, including the tang, is 14 and a half inches. And I was able to get an additional five inches out of the length that I had. So 14. So I started with about nine inches. Uh, of material, and now I'm up to 14 and a half. So, uh, just from the forging, you can get much uh, longer. Uh, you save a lot of metal. So, now I'm going to start the grind. I got to do a lot of profiling on this. I left it pretty rough. And then, uh, once I get the profiling, I'm going to start laying in the bevels. So, yep. Okay, so before I uh, grind the blade, I'm going to weigh it. I'm going to weigh it before and after the grind, and then before and, and then. Uh, once it more again, once it's done, I just want to see how much weight I'm going to actually be grinding out of it just for fun. So, um, right now we're at 316 grams, and I'm thinking we're going to lose probably close to half of that before we're done, maybe more. So, yep, now I'm going to bring it to the start rough grinding.
Okay, so I've got the rough pro profile and the rough bevels ground in. I left it nice and thick, uh, but it's ready for heat treat now. You can see there's still a bit of scale along the edge here, but that's okay. That's all going to get ground away in the final grind. Uh, since I left it thick, there's a little bit of that forged bevel that hasn't been completely ground away, but that won't be any, uh, an issue or hard to fix at all. So now I'm going to weigh it again after the grinding just to see how much I had ground off just off the rough ground. And down to 197, so before it was 316, I think. So we've lost over 100 grams uh, so far. And uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit more yet before the end is done because we have to grind it down to final thickness and then uh, and yeah. So what I'm gonna do now before I heat treat it quickly, I'm gonna heat up this tang and I'm gonna bend it just a little bit. It's coming off pretty straight and I'm not exactly sure what uh, Frank is wanting, so I'm gonna give it just a tad bit of a bend towards the end because I think he might be doing a well most handles you want to have something curved so if it's completely straight the whole way then it's not as good so just the back portion I'm just going to hammer it down just a little bit with the torch and then uh, I'll go I'll harden it first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to normalize it so I'll uh, I'll do that three times just heat it up uh, and let it air cool that'll uh, uh, let it, the grains re, uh, reset and get a finer sharper and harder uh, it, it'll make the blade more tough so uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to start with heating up the tang, and then we'll go for the final, uh, for, for the, the... Okay, so just with the blowtorch, it just dropped that, that point down a little bit. Uh, I'm not doing too much, because Frank can do can tweak it as he wants when he's doing the handle. I don't want to set anything up too much for him yet. But now I'm going to go for the, the final heat treating. So, you can see I, I left the, 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 the choil here pretty rough, like I didn't grind these corners in uh, perfectly yet. And that I'm going to be doing after the heat treat with a couple uh, small Dremel tools and some diamond files just to clean it up there. I find it's easy enough, easiest to just do it once after the heat treat, then you don't have to worry about uh, well cracking the blade or doing any uh, anything like that. If you make sharp corners or if you're uh, filing things, uh, or uh, or the scale can uh, make it so that your uh, your final blade. You have to do a little bit of regrinding there, so I'm going to do that all after the heat treating, which won't be too bad. So, and then you can see I also left the the clip point really thick. I'm going to thin that down quite a bit yet, and uh, same with the the edge; it's very thick as well. So, yeah, we're going to start. We're going to heat it up to about 1550 degrees, uh, just over that, and then take it out and let it air cool slowly. So, that's called normalizing. So, this is actually the first buoy knife I've done. It's coming along pretty good. It's pretty fun. So. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so it's been normalized a couple times, so I'm gonna go for the final heat to heat it up too quick. So what I'm doing, you see I'm putting it in with the edge down, and I'm just going straight in back and forth. I've only got one burner running right now, because I only want to heat up the back towards the tank and let the heat travel forward. And be careful not to overheat that section too. The reason I'm doing this is so that I can even heal on the whole blade. I'm not going to overheat the tip or some other part. So I'm just going to beat it back and forth, push it through, and let the tank heat up a little bit too. I don't want to hurt the tank, but I want it to be uh, every, every other part of the paper. So I want to make sure that there's a little bit of the tank not hurt and that we are right to keep the tip back there. So you can see as I've been heating it up, I'm getting a nice, even, even temperature swing. Like this will be the last normal. Okay, so now I'm going to check the hardness just to make sure that it did harden and something freaky didn't happen there. So I'm going to take a file. And you can hear the sound. So as I get to the scale there, there's, there's a lot of scale. It's, it's oxidized so much. It's still very hot. It's still a couple hundred degrees Fahrenheit. You 
you can hear that sound, the file's not skating at all, as opposed to the tang. So that's the tang. There's the blade. So you can hear the difference in pitch, and that high pitch sound means that it's hardened and that the file's not biting in at all. And it looks pretty straight. Let me take a look. Another look. Yeah, it looks straight. There's a tiny little bit of a warp towards the tip. That's okay, because I can grind that out. That's why I left it thick. It's not enough that I need to... Uh, let's see if it shows up on here. Probably not even... Not enough that I need to grind it. Just on this side a little bit here. But not enough that I need to uh, uh, worry about that yet until I... Yeah, it'll be easy to fix in final grind. So now I'm going to temper it at 400 degrees uh, for two hours, twice. And give it a nice... Uh, a solid temper there. I think two hours, maybe one hour, and then uh, yeah, we'll do two two hour cycle two two hour cycles at 400 degrees just to give it a nice uh, good solid temper. And then after that, we'll be ready for the final uh, the final grind and the polish. All right, so that's been tempered now. I tempered it uh, for two hours at 400 degrees, and uh, so now it's going to be nice and hard, but still springy, and uh, be able to take some shock. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the grinder, I'm going to put a fresh 80 grit belt on there, and I'm just going to bring the edge into the final thickness. Once I get the edge brought in, then I'm going to work on the clip point here, and true up the tang. Uh, and then once I have that trued up, then I'm going to true up the, the ricasso area here, the plunge grinds. I want to make sure that, not the plunge grinds, the ricasso here. I want to make sure that they're nice and even and square so that they'll be easy for uh, Frank to fit up a guard on there. And once I have that done, then I just have to hand sand the blade to uh, 600 grit and uh, that'll be all for my part. So I'll start on the grinder. Okay, so now that I've got the blade polished up to 400 grit on the grinder, <coughs> uh, I'm gonna clean up the the corners here for the for the guard fit up. So I took my I took a, a sharpie, colored on there, and then scribed it in with uh, my, uh, my calipers along the line of the the choil here, where the where the bevel starts. So that this will be perfectly level with with this. And now I'm just going to take uh, some diamond files, I'm just going to clean up these areas, and then I'm going to take a round one and radius off the inside there, just to make sure that everything is nice and clean. So I'll start like that. I want everything nice and flat for the guard fit up so that there's no gaps.
So yeah, I'm going to keep doing that for a while until I get the corners nice and clean. Okay, so I've got the the guard, the, the, the troil, I got that cleaned up with the diamond files. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my uh, secret weapon for cleaning up the, the grind lines right here. These are uh, scotch bright wheels, these are from 3M, and it's basically like, uh, like a scrubbing pad but in a, uh, a wheel on the belt bench grinder, which means that I can just easily lay into it and it'll clean up the area without making deep gouges, so it'll just polish it up. This one I think is around 220 grit or 240, and this one is uh, uh, 600 grit. So I'm going to clean up those areas and there, and on, uh, this one and then that one, and that'll uh, clean up this area a lot, which is a real pain when you're hand sanding a blade because uh, well, the sandpaper normally stops here, so you have to really, really do a lot of hand sanding there, which is a big pain. So this uh, takes two seconds and is a lot easier than that. So I'll show you how I do it. Let me turn it on first. Turn it on. Come in here. Now I've got it up to 220 in that corner there, and I'll bring it up to the 600 here. This does heat it up pretty good because it's uh, it's rubbing against a lot, so make sure that you uh, cool it down so you don't overheat any part of it. So you can see how I have it polished up right there and it's good to just start sanding uh, horizontally so that I can get it all polished up. So I'm going to do the same to the other side and then I'll run the scotch part wheel on some more places that are kind of hard to polish. So uh, uh, the, the Ricasso here and the clip point, I'll just polish them up a little bit on here before I go to the hand sanding and hand sand everything. Okay, so now that I've got the, the, the choil and the, the, the guard uh, area cleaned up a bit, on the scotch right, I'm going to start hand sanding. So I'm going to start at 220, and I'm going to put it in the, with the, on the uh, steel plate here for backing. And I'm just going to sand back and forth. I'm going to be using WD-40 as a lubricant just to keep the clear out the the uh, the dust. And uh, I'm going to polish it up to si clean 600 grit. Okay, so the knife's uh, finished up. I polished up to 600 grit. It's ready to be shipped out. Uh, I brought it down nice and thin, about half a millimeter uh, thick at the edge. Uh, I'm going to leave that for Frank to sharpen up. That way he doesn't cut himself while he's uh, using it. So now I'm going to get the final weight. Since we weighed it before, I figured we would weigh it after just to see what, uh, how much material we lost in all the grinding and the polishing. So I'll get out my scale. Alright, and zero it. 151. Sorry, 100, 150. And I think we started at 316. So we're down a fair bit. We're down more than, the, just over half of the material. So that's kind of what I was uh, expecting. We lose about half the material in the grind and the polish. But uh, yeah, so I think, let me get the final measurements on this blade. It's tip to Ricasso, nine inches. And overall length is just under, just over 14 inches, so about 14 and a quarter, including the, the, the tang there. So uh, yeah, this one is going to go to Frank Sastro at FS Blades. Uh, I'll be putting a link to his stuff in the YouTube description. Make sure that you go check him out. This one will be available for auction soon. Uh, he's going to be finishing up the handle. And then we're uh, 
yeah, then we'll be selling it. So make sure you uh, follow both of us so you can f uh, follow for those updates. We'll keep posting things so that you know where to go to uh, and how to place your bid. So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's the project for today. Uh, thanks for, uh, for checking, and uh, I hope you, hope you like it. We also, uh, me and Frank, both offer uh, custom knives, and uh, we have some many stock knives, so make sure to check both of us out. I'll put both of our links in the description to check out our Instagrams, and uh, feel free to take a look and uh, place an order. Thanks.